Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where we need to get back to a an Illuvian. Where am I? Oh, I'm not that far. Well I'll just I'll just bebop on over to the Illuvian and walk in. And we still have we actually have to find our way to this one for sure. This makes me so sad. Oh, well, is there more in here that I just missed, or are you guys just leaving stuff in here for me? May Varys Tilani was kicked out from the Magisterium over a year ago for treason, allegedly. Her faction, Lucerne, supported the movement to grant greater rights for non mages and slaves. They went silent. Silent, but maybe not gone. Tilani may still be working behind the scenes with allies still in Rathus. Dorian Pavis, another Lucerne founder, still has his Magisterium seat. Could Tilani have taken the fall to keep Magister Pavis clean? The Vesperians, another highborn family, have ties to House Tilani. Cormor Vesperian is a traditionalist, but his youngest son, his youngest youngest succeeded Urian Nihilus to become Imperial Divine. Oh, that's what they call him. Lofty role, but he spoke in support of the Lucerne, at least until their fall. And there's evidence that funding for the various slave rebellions may have come through members of the Dwarven Ambassadoria. Talani's always had allies in the Ambassadoria. Is it her gold that's going to the rebellions? Uh, she was married, I believe, to a Dwarven man. Um, at least in the comic she was, but he's I think he's died now. Um, but... Or died like he was. He was like his memory was used to like tempt her in the fade. Um. Yeah. Dude. Oh, this was the room that we would that we came in, like when we first get into here. This was like a closed room. With like seating and like hookah pipes and everything. Oh, crazy! I didn't realize that when we walked out. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. I hate to miss codex entries. See? Tarquin. Met the man shadowing me, name is Tarquin, got tired of his antics, hid and doubled back to approach him from behind. If he was surprised, he hid it well. Said he wanted to know if I could be trusted before he spoke to me. I pointed out that my trustworthiness aside, his methods gave me no reason to trust him. He conceded. He wanted to know if I had a lead on the Red Lyrian portions coming through the docks. He'd seen the evidence of a cover-up in Templar reports and wanted to compare notes. Might be able to make real progress from this. Rana's heard of him, a soldier from Ventus who quit the military and took a place with the Templars in Minrathus. Keeps his head down, mostly deals with paperwork in the archives. Got the impression he isn't well liked by his superiors, explains the side job. Okay. So now we're finding Nev's notes. I feel like I hear somebody breathing, but I think it's just my character breathing heavily while we walk. That girl. I need to get out more. Find Emmerich. Where? Oh, I can go in there now? How convenient that it's just right here. I thought I would need a new area. Oh my gosh, I get to go home. Oh, my statuary is very nice, very nice. We saw these earlier on, I think they were like on the the path, the main path to get out here. You <laughs> haven't asked me in a while. If you mean spite, I'm laying low. What? Right. Don't spook the quarry. <laughs> Especially when the quarry can lie to your face. You say spite's under control. How do I know that isn't spite talk? This would be so exhausting. The wings are a giveaway. But I'm glad we're keeping you on your toes. The wings are a giveaway. Well, Spike can come out, you know what I mean? Like, on his own. Um, okay, after we get Emmerich, we'll go back and talk to everybody in the camp. I just worry that I'm gonna, like, miss ambient dialogue, and I don't want to do that. Like, from, like, from hanging out at camp, but... We need, we have things to do. We have places to go. We have my home to see. Let me see the necropolis. I actually, who do I want to bring? Dephagic, where my evil mages have plans of their own. Are we gonna be fighting Darkspawn? I want to bring Davrin simply for because I've been bringing the Karenis out a lot when given the choice 
I really want to bring Davern out to get his, like, up relationship up, like, the, just the points up. But I kind of think, I kind of think Lucanus will be better for this. Because we're, we're going to be fighting undead and demons, probably. Not Darkspawn. Tavern is so handsome, though. Alright, fine. Lucanus it is. Lucanus it is. I just think he, he fits in the situation really well. I, I, I think he, he could maintain a subtlety that Davern potentially would not. Or like a, a a politeness where it's like, I'm going back home and I need you all to be on your best behavior. You know what I mean? <laughs> My home! The Grand Necropolis. Those are old Avar statues. Those ones, the scream looking ones. Those are old Avar statues. At least they, they were before. We're reusing a lot of assets. Just fine. This is it. But no sign of the professor. I was like, why is Balara here? But she was the I hope he's here. liaison. And he doesn't mind us disturbing him. He is a senior necromancer. I, I don't... Oh, oh. oh, I'm so excited to see where this goes. Guests were stuck for hours. Poor souls. You, oh. you're. <laughs> Professor Emmerich Volkaren of the Morn Watch. Hello, Professor. Uh, we've never met, well, in person, but I, I, I've been writing to you. Belara, my <laughs> dear girl, what a pleasure. Uh -huh. Surely you didn't come all this way just to see me. Um, actually, we did. You see, we need a fade expert. <clears throat> Rook, fellow Morn Watcher. Rook, man has mentioned you. Hi, uh, yes, she was the one who wrote the letter too. Uh. Impressive flock of undead. Oh, merely the gifts of experience. <laughs> More the merrier. I'd be pleased to continue our conversation. After I tend to some small business here. Look at the way he is dressed. He is so, he's a fancy man. I must investigate. Would you two mind accompanying me further into the shrouded halls? Never thought I'd actually see this place for myself. Things have changed since you left the Order Room. I didn't leave. The dead stir more easily than they should. I just took a hiatus. I love this. This is beautiful. I wonder if this is like, oh, what is it, like Asteria or something? Oh, this is, this was grown this way. Like, it, it, this is beautiful. And the, the, the skulls are so tastefully done. With the amethyst in there, it's so nice. I actually, right over there, have not a skull with, you know, anything like it. But I have, like, with any jewels in it. But I kind of have, like, a purple like a uh, vibe going with like a variety of things that like are like floral and then like I have bones over here you can't see them they're behind the, all this stuff but I do have an excellent coyote skull back there as well as a couple elk vertebra and I actually have a deer mandible in my car that I need to get out and clean and mod podge um and I saw it today and I was like oh yeah I forgot about that <laughs> but uh yeah oh and I have um where? Yes, there it is. Okay, so I do have, I have a sticker. I'm good. Maybe I'll take a picture. I don't know. Future editing me. There's a beautiful, like, amethyst tree. One of those little trees that people make out of stones. It's a little tiny one that my sister got me. And behind that, I have a really beautiful sticker that I got with a book that I purchased called The, the Whispering... No, it was Your Blood, My Bones. And it, was, it was that book, I think. 
um, but it's a skeleton looking up and it has like these beautiful purple flowers like all like intertwined with it I love the bones intertwined with like botanical samples like I think it's an excellent book again it's that it's that vibe of like from death springs life and then life returns to death it's that cyclical thing you know that I really like the vibe of so purple stones and bones are uh yeah no I'm definitely a fan purple stones bones and flowers mm, I knew I picked more on watch for a reason if only Emmerich's voice was better I am not impressed so far Mm -mm -mm. And he's, I mean, he's not like a serious necromancer. I was kind of hoping for a serious necromancer. Like, listen, I wanted to play into the stereotype a little bit. But, um, it is funny that they're like, no, we're going to have like a very, just like a, you know, a gentlemanly scholar sort, you know? Can I? Uh... And this is where Rook's never been in here, but it's one of those things where it's like she's probably heard about it. I mean, it seems like, right? Like, so much. Wow. I never, I never thought, honestly, I never thought in the Dragon Age games that we'd go to Novara, really, you know? And I'm sure the city itself looks very different. This is probably much more, like, austere. But, um, I love the design choices they've gone with. Where, where is over here? Okay, let me just, it's a dead end over here. Let me just, let me live. I really love these. I love these a lot. And yeah, this, this statue, I swear, these screaming statues were ones that I swear were Avar. They, they were called that because I think it was like during like the initial blights or something, like the initial blight, something there was, it felt like, it's like old Ferelden, so it's like the Avar. And it was one of those things where it's like, but we found them. No, we found them in... Shoot. Is it the Hissing Waste? I don't know. The Avar are the older, like, uh, group uh, that had kind of, when they disseminated, turned into, like, Ferelden and I think Orle? I don't know if Orle is involved in that. But um, anyway, they were called the Screaming Statues because it was they were made during a time when people felt very helpless against the overwhelming odds. And so they made these statues so that they could scream into them and thereby like release their fear you know um because there was nothing else i could do but scream into the void and hope it didn't scream back is essentially the vibe you know oh and i love the green fire oh my gosh this is so nice this is so nice oh i picked good i picked very good also why you think you guys would have oh maybe this is the results of the civil war hmm what are the big chains going to but I was gonna say, you think they'd keep up the necropolis better? It's like a whole city of the undead. I don't think I'd want to have my corpse used for manual labor when I died. Oh, wow! I've never seen anything like this. These are so cool. So cool. He was very polite to let me look at it all. I feel like they give you some areas where you can just stand and look. Look at this! This is crazy! <gasps> oh, that's so spooky. I'm taking a picture. The vibes. The ve I feel like the veil would be so thin here with so many dead, even if they didn't die here. You know what I'm saying? Like, with so many corpses around, but that's why there's a bunch of necromancers around too. Hmm? Is there, there is, is a dead end? There's a dead end over here, Hammer. I have to go look. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Like an actual massive city of the dead. It's nice to have a place too. The, like in the West, a lot. I've been reading interesting books. Um, From Here to Eternity, How to Find like the Good Death or something. A good, not a good death, but like, like basically she is. It's a funeral director, but she researches um, like 
death practices throughout the world, and so she has a few examples in that book. And she writes like an anthropologist. It's amazing, um, and and she's so funny and like so poignant too. But like, there's not, it's not like there's like a couple parts where I like teared up. But like for the most part, it was like it's one of those like death positive kind of books because in the West she talks about, and I've read other books like this too, where it talks about. Um, our aversion to looking at or thinking about death because we have this like thing like, like this idea that if we don't think about it or look at it it won't happen and like why waste your life thinking about your death but like there's so like or like when when somebody dies we don't like give ourselves enough time to mourn it's very uh, closed doors and short like you don't realize you actually have like rights to like the body like you, the, when the funeral people show up like you can hold on to the body of a loved one for like 24 hours i think like they they don't have to, like if they come like you can tell them to wait you know like you have the rights to like the the, the body of your loved one you know um you obviously can't keep it for like ever <laughs> Like here anyway, but there's different practices, right? Where like the dead are like you know kind of mummified and brought out every year, you know, and like, uh, and it's like this thing where like death is like you know it's like a, or an old friend, you know. There's like whereas in the West we see death as like a reaper, you know, and like a, and then that happens in other cultures too. But they also have manifestations where there's like death is an old friend, you know, who comes to take you to your rest or stuff like that, you know. And so it's just interesting, um, and I think it's a lot healthier to be like you know recognizing that life is so precious because it has an end in many ways you know um there's an end and there's a beginning you know and i don't know i'm not saying it very well and i'm kind of losing the thread but i'm gonna keep going because i don't remember what i was trying to where i started that <laughs> I just think it's nice that the Navarra apparently is, I guess, death positive, right? Where, like, they acknowledge it as, like, an old friend and they respect it. They don't fear it, you know what I mean? Not necessarily, you know? Everybody fears death to some degree, you know? Nobody really Moving wants to die. Ahead. But, like... Strange. These halls should be under the protection of the bell. The bell, yeah, I totally know what that is. I know. What bell? Oh, is that what the big, uh, like, the chains are for? To, like, ring a giant, giant bell? Is that a despair demon? Why? Fascinating, isn't it? They shouldn't be able to breach the shrouded halls at all. What? An Acropolis I... always surprises. Yeah. Careful, right? you out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've been separated. That's very good of me, right? As like a a mourn watch, I would be like. We discover why that spirit manifested here. Talking myself down. the way, Professor. I think you'd be like, we'd be like, we would be like, we'd be like, oh my gosh, like he knows what he's doing, you know? Also, but oh, is this who? I, you, you can usually tell people are according to like their dress, but these look like to winter people. What? Because I was like, surely they wouldn't leave the dead like this in the necropolis. But why didn't he say anything about like the wrong bodies being here? You know, like that's not how they would do bodies here. They're laid to rest respectfully, or piled up into giant walls, and you know, used as giant burial urns. Oh. Very cool. I always love necromancers. Hang on. Oh, I don't need that. Ooh, this is so neat. Ooh. This must be like a bell tower then? I was like, are these designed to look like ribs? I think they're supposed to convey ribs, but they're not really. They don't have any ribs. So what's down there, and why can't I see it? Just a fog machine. The Venatori are here. How polite of you to wait for me to go in first. Someone's barred the door and chained the sunken star. There's undead here. We may need to defend ourselves depending on their condition. 
Haven't fought undead in a while. No reaching these. They're mindless. I feel it. What a waste. I Interesting. I'm afraid sometimes the weaker dead work themselves into frenzies. Poor things. Poor things. Wow, did you see that bounce? I got like five bounces. I must free that bell. If you need another watcher, I can help. Thank you. The star, the bell, can vanish these despair spirits if we unchain it. Okay, but let me grab this first. This is so fun to be like, ooh. Oh, but the stagger is so much I mean, not so, I mean, it's like half. But you get plus one shield toss bounce later, and it's, uh, uh. This would be so fun for her to be like, ooh, you know, back at it again, back in the saddle again, you know? <laughs> if I get some cool Morn Watch armor, I'm gonna be so excited. Wait, uh. Do you see this? This is stunning. And wrapped, um, poorly wrapped, you know, but rem faintly reminiscent of Egyptian mummified wrapping, you know. I want to look at all the things. We obviously have the help of, um, like helpful spirits and benign spirits and it's interesting right like he's like aren't you a necromancer it's like can't you control all of these but also like uh, i don't know about dragon age lore but if somebody else raises a dead like raises the dead it's kind of hard for you to take over them and i get to hell wisp to unseal mm. the doors leading out could you please find one and bring it here over here do you think they still remember me rook you know a wisp will follow a watcher when called this is so fun! Do you think they still remember me? That was adorable. Come here. Ooh. Feel the eyes of the dead. <gasps> Please, Why whispers. That makes no sense. It's what's your tradition? It's tradition! Bring the wisp here, and we can unseal the doors. All hail the eyes of the dead, is that what it was? I love that we have Doors our own open. little like phrases. Right, you know. This should lead us to the upper chambers where we can free the bell. There's someone I'd like to consult with on the way. Apparently the Venatori are all up in here. Like what is up with that? You know what I mean? Like we need we need to talk about that way. Why can't we tell him, hey, it looks like there's a bunch of Venatori in here? Because there's Venatori shields everywhere. There's potentially going to be a huge boss fight in here, holy cow. Or this is like a hub area. But it's so fun to have like the little phrases and stuff and to like feel like you actually belong in a place, that you come from a place and recognize it, and that you're recognized by others in the group. Like, this is a basic anthropological, like, you know, the, the like social, like, uh, what is it? So, so, not social capital, but like social, like, connection? Maybe it is social capital. It might be social capital. But you know what I mean, though. It's like the the desire to like belong and to be recognized by people who you feel are similar to you, you know? So, Professor. Just em, please. You weren't that surprised we need a fade expert. The spirits talk. Even the simplest have been clamoring about chaos in the fade. Someone coming to consult wasn't an if, so much as a when. Solus would really like this guy, I think, from the sounds of it. Well, I don't know. Solus never said what he thinks necessarily about Navarran practices of, like, having the spirits house the dead. They don't force the spirits to go into the bodies or anything. I think it's just, like, if a spirit wishes to, like, experience the mortal world, um, they can do so through a body, like a corpse that has been offered for the purposes, you know, in a contained area. Um, and I think even in Navaran Doctrine, they aren't sure if it's the actual, like, older, like, the spirit of the person who died, or if it's somebody else, or something else, or just a spirit. Like, no, I don't think there's any real set doctrine either on whether or not the spirits in the Fade are people who have died, or the actual doctrine is just that you pass through, the, like, your spirit passes through the Fade to get to the Maker, at least in Andrastian Chantry, you know, in, in the Chantry, like, Andrastian Chantry religious beliefs. Um... 
and then like but then some spirits become like the manifestation of a person who's died and like embody them so it's like is that the person or is that just a spirit embodying them so far i think we've only encountered spirits embodying others you know um but still this would be a fascinating place to study in word like it looks gloomy but like you know it's peaceful friday the 13th i went to like two cemeteries it's a very peaceful place. Company. I have the flaming weapons again somehow. <laughs> I am loving the shield bouncing when I can get it. Oh, I messed up the timing on that. How am I hitting for so much damage, though? Like, honestly. Is this like the power of the charged up shield? Like, this crazy. I mean, I am hitting a lot with the fire, too. Ooh, I should have checked. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. They are, I mean, I knew they were necrotic vulnerable, but, you know. Ooh, that was so cool when he came in over the top. That was me. Wow. <laughs> I love how Emmett is like, he's just like behind us being like, yes, you're doing it. Good job. Good show. What? You know? A lost it's wedding over. ring. You know what I mean? Like, I know he was doing magic from the back, but still, it doesn't what it felt like, right? And he's like, oh, good show. You do, you're doing great, everybody. Oh, this is where you would store. Oh, this is like for ashes, though. These are like, wait, yeah. Yeah, these are not coffins. Those are like urns. So you do do cremation sometimes. You do. Oh, very cool. See, we get way more statues here. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of similar, but like they're different styles of the similar ones. <laughs> and these are probably carved stone. These are not like, I highly doubt these are actual skulls. And those really big ones, highly doubt those are actual skulls. They'd be carved from stone. This is so, so it's just like the ancient elven stuff, but it's wisps, things are powered by spirits, because this was probably, this was not built by elves, this was def this was built by humans, and you know, whoever else, that was living in Navarra. It was built by modern-ish Navarrans. And Rook would be so excited, like, Stone, I'm gonna call her, I wanna call her Stone, and then it'd be like, my Rook, and she's like, you know, like referring to her. Although I will say, I'm like, listen, 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 listen. Why? Why do you have so many like just bo piles of bones? They're supposed to be interred respectfully. They're like, oh, this is only if you volunteered to be an aesthetically scattered skeleton, and you're like, oh, well, sign me up for that. <laughs> you know. Cool. Okay, I have to get in there with the with a little thing, right? Where do we spend? I am loving the statues. There are so many health jars in here, and I am I am not I mean I could I guess I could take this one. <gasps> a sarcophagus! There's a sarcophagus without a lid. Where's the sarcophagus lid? Well that feels like I can't go back. Oh, but I can. I love the like flip of whoop. It's funny. Very oh, wow, like a tiny ray of sunshine bleeding through. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> oh, this is so impressive. It's the dwar the architecture is slightly dwarven looking, but I mean, if you were building a, a massive city like this, a city of the dead, I think you would actually hire dwarves. You know, I think that would be an excellent idea. They're really good at making this more kind of stuff. Ice. more magic. Echoes of the despair spirits, misery devouring itself. We should keep our distance. If provoked, these manifestations will shatter. Vault of the Beloved. 
Why is the why is the music so intense? Jeez. Like you say, get past, as in like, can I just walk past him? You know, <laughs> like I wouldn't mind not fighting them. Also, I realized. Um, oh, I was like, I realize he's not in the squad, but I wish I could get abilities for him. But earlier, I couldn't. What do we have? Applies quietus. I don't know what that is. I am the Morn Watch, and I have returned home. These stylized symbols represent the forking of thought, consciousness, will, finality, and time, all favorite subjects of Navarro's greatest necromancer philosophers. Yeah, I think Navarans are, at least even from what little they mentioned it in previous games, Navarans are considered oddballs with their death practices among most of the other, like, predominantly human nations. I'm so sorry. I just broke that beautiful urn. I'm so sorry. They're, they're squeaking over there. Like, I can hear them. The music is so good. Very, like, cathedrally. Like, massed, you know? Like, whoa. Very good, very good. It fits very well. I'm glad that uh, my companions aren't triggering anything. Because I'm sure they're walking right through it all the time. I need a wisp. Another one. Wisp. Wisp. How many? Oh, so do I have to fight a despair demon in order to get a wisp? I don't. Uh... Ooh, yes. Strange. This door shouldn't be here. What do you what? The Necropolis. Always shuffling rooms around. What? Oh, if only our predecessors had found better ways to predict its whims. What? <laughs> That's just the thing that happens? Can I just like Oh, oh I don't know how that happened, but I managed to squeeze through there. So the necropolis shifts? Like what it like like it's in the fade? Like what is up with that? I guess I will fight one of these demons. Alright, demon, it's your boy. What what no wisps? I got past the despair demons. I snuck past them all. Do you mean you want me to blow them all up? Is that what you want, game? Why are they disturbed? I guess the despair demons aren't supposed to be in here, huh? So it's probably for the best that we clear them out. I thought I was gonna get, like, you know... The, like, double charge shield throw is really good. Plus, I... I am. I mean, I know I'm fighting not necessarily just undead. Where'd it go? Oh, you gave me uh, enhanced damage. Oh, he gets to do that randomly sometimes. Uh, more, more demon. Okay, so I did- my game crashed. It said a weird error about, like, your graphics card has been removed, and I was like, okay, you know? Um, and, but, so I, I could just turn it off for a bit and just let it cool down, because it was getting pretty hot. This is- my computer is running really hard. I thought I remember reading that, like, uh, the game was kind of optimized to run on older settings, but, like, I don't know what that was all about in the end, because uh, it's taking quite a chunk to run this, even on like medium, with like a bunch of like optimized settings. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up this. I, I attacked everything on the way down. Oh god, that's a good picture. Without the ice this time, not you. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh, look at the giant rib cage. What? Like, is this carved? Because if it's carved, that's still really impressive. It's really impressive. If it's not carved, it's terrifying. Like, the rib cage up top. I'm like, oh, what is that? What is that big? <laughs> you know? But, jeez Louise, this, this is gorgeous. Y'all. This game is so pretty. Um. Anyway, yeah, I'll catch up. His staff is sick. What the heck? Anyway, yes, I'll catch up with you guys once I've uh, grabbed this last little fight here. This is locked too. And I didn't see any wisps around. Then I shall call for aid. Is that all it took? Is that... Is that what it was? I... I thought I had to defeat They've the demons answered. and... We'll need to guide the wisps. <sighs> We've just arrived to the door. <sighs> I thought that I needed to kill the despair demons because, for one thing, it's our job to destroy them because they're not supposed to be here, but also that maybe we could get wisps by doing that, so I was confused when I killed them and nothing happened. Come on, little friend. The necropolis wisps look lively as ever. They care for us, Rook. Our ever-loyal friends amongst the dead. That is so... Amazing, honestly. I really love this. I love this idea of like, you know, not being afraid of like the spirits. Like, I think the Chantry would definitely not approve of this mentality, right? Where like they're supposed to like be like afraid of, uh, of of the undead, of spirits, in a, in a way, right? Like it's supposed to be all just forbidden kind of a thing, kept under lock and key. This mentality is much healthier, and I would like to think that Solas would approve, wisp. but he really hates it when Gun spirits are spirit used. I've ever seen. It's because we're nice to them. The necropolis is a balm to many of its inhabitants. Must be nice. Oh, must. I've noticed you've come to me. Ah! <gasps> he did notice! I didn't think he would notice! I didn't think he'd point it out yet. I thought he'd wait. Oh my gosh. I... I I was, I was hoping he'd noticed. It was one of the reasons I brought Lucanus. Also, necromantic damage. Because, uh, necromantic... Some, for some reason, I guess necromancy work against the undead is, uh, not an unreasonable thing. <laughs> not an unreasonable assumption to me. Um. But yeah. We, we create an aura of calm There's here. the last wisp. And safety. Good. Let's return to the door. To a, a communication. When you open communication, things can things can work out a little better. This was much easier with the disparity well done. being gone. Past these chambers, we'll find some assistance with reaching the bell. Despair is far more pervasive than I thought. We must stop who's ever drawing these spirits here, Rook. Who's been dumb Tory? enough to trespass in our necropolis? The mind reels. The mind reels. He is funny. Um, the stagger doesn't go down too much. I do like the electric damage that I do. It is fun. This is a Navarin one. Sure, we'll use it for a bit. Yeah. I wish, why can't I do, this is one of those ones where I'm like, I feel like my mouth is so shut, where I'm like, just tell him it's the Venator. Because that's what we were seeing. Also, I do. I just figured out who it is that we're, who's going to be helping us because he's uh, he's he's in the promotional material. Oh hi. Uh -oh. Do you see that damage I just did? That's actually crazy. I literally just tried to do a um. We need to close. Move. From Hades. Ooh. I am somehow keeping this going. I'm so close to level 20! Ooh, I'm so excited! I can't like I'm like break my controller if I accidentally move too much. Look! Different stat they have and different markings. They've got like carved, it's not inscriptions, but carved like, uh. 
What is the, I am losing my mind. Designs? Designs will do. It's not what I exactly wanted to say, but designs will do. Also, I think we can get into these rooms if we can, like... Like, but we can't clear this away. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever fancy thing, whatever fancy move your boy here, the necromancer, is gonna have. But is it gonna involve clearing sand? <laughs> it's weird that my companions don't take damage either. Like, it would appear. Like, I'm not really sure. I like them not being recognized. I mean, yeah, like, I don't have to manage them as much. And they're basically just extensions of my own abilities, it's like, you know? But I'm like... I don't know. Like, I don't have to heal them or anything. It's a little weird. We were hoping for the healer class to make it make a comeback in this game. I don't think that happened. I didn't really look at the mage stuff very long. So we use mass disruption to get rid of all these despair spirits at once? Precisely. I sense their source near the bell. Ringing it will banish them, but we must find who lured them there in the first place. Well, where's the rest of the Morn Watch? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why are we the only ones here so far? Also, another statue! Look at that! That one's new. I don't recognize that one. A sightless skull. Ooh. Death comes for us all, more watchers carry it with them. I have to just for the for the vibes, you know. At least while I'm here. It's coming home, you know? Gotta pick up all the trinkets I left behind. Another interesting one. At least the trees here don't have, uh, people sticking out of them. Ooh, the wind! Makes it sound very eerie. Tell me, Rook, what work took you so far away from the necropolis? You remember that uprising of undead nobility a while ago? We're like, the uh... Of the banners? I was up in the city when that broke out. I heard a young watcher, Ingolvar, put a stop to it through unorthodox measures. I, that's what I do! And got into trouble. It was decided it might be best for that young watcher to see the world. Ah, say no more. I saw something down here to pick up, but... Okay, that's just a way down. I jumped down here because I thought I'd be able to just run back up, but apparently not. I'm. He said that Mir Mirna had mentioned me, but she did not mention the uh, being told to see the world thing. He's quite spry. Look at that. It's so cool. It's so cool. I love it. It's very, like, cliche, sort of, but, like, I love it. Memory. The luminous notes. The long-sought notes of one of Narar's most famous spirit summoners. Some whisper that El Gantine Feldavar still wanders the Fae, though she died 60 years ago. Just gonna... Just throwing on the necrosis like mad here. I'm about to level up into my finally into my Reaper specialization. I, it is, it is. Oh my gosh, it's so fitting. I just realized it's so fitting that like I finally get to hear in this spot when I'm about to level up and become like an act, like I get my actual like more watch abilities, you know, and I'm gonna be doing that here. In the necropolis, getting to level 20, I'm I'm thrilled. I did not even do it on purpose. Look at this. Like obviously I didn't, but like I don't know. It just feels very like yes, you know. <laughs> I just gotta get some more Watcher armor. 
Watching them like tippy toe across is so funny. Like I know I look funny too, but I do think oh they have beautiful flowers carved into the side, like tulip like flowers. I do think you guys need to fix the necropolis. It's one thing to have like the aesthetic of like a falling down fortress, but like Really, <laughs> things could be in better shape. Sorry. My right knee is kind of painful when it's when I have to sit at a, kind of a funny angle for a long time. So I'm trying to fix it so it doesn't have to sit funny. Let me remove this scent. How do we? Can I just nothing. Nothing. Ooh. This is where we'll learn who summoned these despair spirits. A spectral court. I don't see any of the more helpful spirits around. Mage or not, every watcher must trust that the necropolis answers all proper supplications. Would you mind lighting those braziers, Rook? Braziers. I can do that. This will I... unseal our final pass to the bell. It's best we unchain it quickly. Then what? The sunken star will drive away despair. Any malicious spirit that hears the tolling of the bell will be banished to the Fae. Any malicious spirit? Unattached ones. Ah. Uh, companion will be safe. Ah. He's like, dang it. That is, I did not even think about that. To be, we should, Lucanus would maybe want to talk to Emric and the people here to see about getting his, his demon removed necromancers aren't as i don't know they they'd probably be more specialization in, in demons and spirits than anybody else you know without the fear of like a stigma you know that's kind of why i didn't bring devrin because he's already you know he, he made it like a joke but it's like oh the mord watchers you know and it's like i'm like what and like everybody's kind of weird about navarans and their their death rituals so it's like i don't know i just kind of figured that uh Lucanus would not be so uptight about it. Like, you know, out of many people. I bet you, uh, what's her name, Bellara wouldn't mind either, but I'm not interested in the, not in that interested in bringing her around. Although she's not nearly as bad as I thought she'd be. Is this, uh, like, honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying her. Like, it, um, I like her. I'm liking her. Oh, Codex! judgment lies with the dead on the menacing plaque and it's just like a super long empty plaque for no reason i did like too the touch where he's like um even the non-mages have to trust the necropolis will answer do it like the, during the proper supplication or whatever and yeah it, it is interesting to pick a faction like veil jumpers or um mourn watch that seem like they'd be more mage aligned but i like that they didn't restrict us and then it let us that everybody has a chance, you know? Optimistic plaque. A home in life, a birth and death, a house of many mansions. Two sides of the same coin. All right. I think I've got it. And I think I know who we're getting. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I gotta light the last one. Excellent. Approach the body and we'll begin. I'd be like, my stone would be like, she's like, I haven't done this in ages, so this would be fun. Or interesting, maybe. By seal and flame, who brought despair in our midst? <sighs> despair? Who brought it here? Venatori. I could have told you that. The Venatori. Uh, of course. This way, please. The Watchers never taught me that. Yeah. The colloquial term is corpse whispering, a gift that manifested with my magic. Oh! The corpses with magic. Honestly, I've no idea how the other Watchers navigate the necropolis without it. So he's like a true necromancer, right? Like he has like, spe like specific, like a specialization of magic that is really good for this area for his job <laughs> he chose well 
Or maybe it was just like, you know, exposure? Hear someone. This map is useless. We got <gasps> three slaves in those traps. <gasps> if that hand of glory burns down. So don't stop. I wish I could send in my assassin to assassinate. Woo, it's so cool. Hmm. I should probably, unfortunately, call this one here and save while I still can. Um because it's just two videos I'm going to have to put together because of the crash, but uh, hopefully it all works out. And I did test it several times before I started actually recording, and I think everything's not going to explode. But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm so excited to be in the Necropolis, to be in Navarra. This is so fun. It's everything I hoped it would be in here. So, of course, it could always be cooler, like the more, but like I like what we're getting, so I'm very pleased. And I like the interactions. That's so fun. So... Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to cut away now and say thank you to my patrons. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.